Some breaking news coming in on the broadcast. This is, uh, as far as the Karnataka bribe gate is concerned, the BJP MLA moves court. BJP MLA Virupakshappa moves the high court and uh, he seeks anticipatory bail and the matter to be taken up tomorrow. The latest breaking news coming in as far as the Karnataka bribe gate case is concerned. The BJP MLA has now moved uh, the court. Uh, he's moved the high court and uh, he now seeks anticipatory bail. And uh, we're getting to know that this matter will be taken up tomorrow in the court. It is to be seen uh, where it goes from there. But uh, remember, nearly 8 crore cash was uh, recovered from the M BJP MLA's son's residence. And uh, at this point of time, Chief Minister Bomai had also uh, assured strict action against the minister. But as of now, the BJP MLA, Viru Pakshappa, has moved the High Court and the Karnataka BJP MLA has sought ancestry bail. My colleague Neha is joining us live on the broadcast to give us more details on this. Neha, big development coming in. As far as the Karnataka bribe gate is concerned, the BJP MLA has now moved the High Court. The matter will be taken up tomorrow. Uh, he is now seeking anticipatory bail. Give us the details. Well, that's right. In fact, you know, what we're now picking up is that uh, MLA Virupak Shepa Madal there has gone on to file for anticipatory bail and that the matter is likely to come up in the High Court tomorrow. This is important because for almost about four days, days now, you know, we've been seeing that the MLA, in fact, has been absconding here as far as the investigation is concerned. Yes, while the government, as well as the Chief Minister, has been maintaining that, you know, they are, in fact, going to allow law to take its own course of action. Questions being raised right now about why, even four days later, that the MLA hasn't been arrested over here, or apprehended, to say the least, taken in for questioning. The Congress party, in fact, has torn into the government over this matter. They've also decided now to stage a protest on the 9th of March, raising questions about why the MLA over here in concern isn't, uh, you know, of course, being picked up. But with that being said, of course, we'll have to wait and see as to whether or not the court over here in concern grants, the, uh, in fact, you know, goes on to grant the anticipatory bail to the MLA or not. Right, Neha, stay on with us uh, while we address more details into the matter. Now, as the Karnataka BJP MLA in 8 crore cash all remains absconding, Bumai government faces heat from the opposition. And Congress calls for Bandh on 9th of March. And the Chief Minister Bomai has also hit out on that, saying that the Congress is the source of all corruption. Now, remember, the BJP MLA's son, Parashnath, was caught red-handed, accepting a bribe of Rs 40 lakh at his private office in Bengaluru. The Loka Yukta, the anti-corruption watchdog in Karnataka, that was revived under the Basavraj Bomai government's rule last year, has seized over rupees 8 crore from the BJP MLA's residence in Bengaluru. Prashtachara the Koopa Congress. Our mother on the Karma Kanda won the Erda. Congress a Bandaktaide. Higagi, either the Protepatne, Bandmukantara, Tama, Rajki Bavishan, Barikova, the Nonta, Zerinda, our Bandkurta, Aparti Krenu Sigodala. Yakandre, Apadne Modor Mother Sudhas Terbek, Apadne Modor Sudhas Terbek, Avaga the Belebur today, Yuru, Yaya Kesali, Dimbu Gubitilla, Haske Gubitilla, Biscuit Coffee Lubitilla, Yella Dralu, Sanadinda Hirdu, Dodo Niravi Yosinele, Madidare, Sidrama Yella Minister Target Kutidru, Kildri MB Patlge, Kildri George Gay, Kildri Madiopuge. My colleague Neha is still with us on the broadcast to give us details on this. Uh, Neha, the BJP MLA remains absconding. Bomai facing uh, heat from the opposition and uh, very likely Congress calling in for a band on the 9th of March. And again, now Bomai hitting out at the Congress saying they are the source of corruption. So war of words is happening in the entire matter. Uh, so give us the details as to how how is the entire matter now panning out.
Well, yes, even as the investigation into this case has progressed, the MLA over here in concern, Virupakshapa Madal, has been absconding now for almost about four days. And the Congress, in fact, you know, has turned up the heat on the government over here to make his arrest and to apprehend him and call him in for questioning. Now, as far as the investigation is concerned, what we're also picking up is that the MLA has moved for an anticipatory bail application in court. Whether or not that would be granted, of course, you know, would be decided tomorrow at the Karnataka High Court. But with those massive seizures of cash that had come in and some of the accused also there being sent to 14 days of judicial custody on Friday, the investigation currently is on. Now, what exactly, you know, of course, where was this money being transported about, uh, you know, eight crores also later that was seized apart from the 40 lakhs for which the trap was laid? These are massive amounts of money. That, and this, is, in fact, is coming in so close on the heels of the assembly elections in the state of Karnataka, that it's further gone on to raise more questions. So yes, while a war of words over here has erupted between the BJP and the Congress in the state, we will have to wait and see as to whether now the local yukta, in fact, and the other police, of course, that's investigating this case, manages to bring in the MLA over here for questioning. And like the Chief Minister said over there, that an unbiased and a free hand would be given to the investigating authorities, whether, of course, you know, that's kept up with, and if at all, then the Congress that's called for its bond on the 9th of March, whether there's going to be any impact of that bond or not, well, all of that, you know, is awaited right now. All right, Neha, thank you for giving us those details on that story. We now move on and shift our focus to some more news that is coming.